Brian Ripley with TPG Ranch Properties. We are at Colorado State University at the Equine Science Center west of the main campus in Fort Collins, Colorado. We are at the 16th annual Legends of Ranching sale and we're going to meet with Craig Huffines. He is the director of the Equine Science Program as well as a number of students just to learn more about the program, what's going on here with the sale, and all that's in store uh, with the Equine Science Program in the future. So join us. Craig Huffines, Director of Equine Science Programs here at Colorado State University. We are here in the sale arena for the Legends of Ranching sale. Uh, Craig, thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. I know you're busy at the sale here and um, there's a lot going on with students and uh, clients and all kinds of things, so thank you for your time. Um, I'm going to start just so we introduce everybody to who you are. Um, you have some background with CSU, but you bring with you a real rich history as an executive with the Hereford Association, Quarter Horse Association. Can you describe some of that background? Yeah. Um, you know, my wife and I left Texas A&M and our home in Texas about 30 years ago to come here to graduate school. And we just loved Fort Collins. Of course, that was 30 years ago. It's a little different it's today, different. you know. But, um, but we got a great education here. My wife happened to be from Canyon, Texas, so we said, well, that, that might be a neat, a neat jump. I grew up around horses, a small ranching operation in North Central Texas, and um, so it was an honor for me to, get, to be offered that opportunity. So for six and a half years, I was the head of the American Quarter Horse Association. Um, very different business, sure. um, but also a great learning experience uh, because of that difference. Um, after that period of time, um, there were opportunities kind of thrown my way, perhaps to come back to CSU. Uh, and this director of equine science program uh, opened up and I was offered to come back. And you know, we thought about that and uh, you know, after 30 years in industry, uh, gave me an opportunity to come back and work with students and uh, bring some of that industry knowledge and, and relationship back here that maybe we can help these students get ready, uh, plug them in, plug them in the industry and kind of show them what it takes to be successful in industry. Good. Well, what a great asset. And and really, right, we're you're in the business of preparing students now, yeah. but but yeah. these students, that's what their goal is, is to go out and work in the industry and you bring forth um, not only the knowledge and the leadership ability, but you have a network that can connect students to maybe internships, jobs, and, and frankly, you, you have a working knowledge. So that's great, and it's a great asset yeah. to the CSU program. I'm with Victoria, a CSU student here in the Equine Sciences program. Victoria, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Can you just tell us who you are, where you're from, what your major is? Uh, I'm Victoria Clark. I'm from Morgan Hill, California, and I'm studying equine science with minors in real estate and business. Perfect. Yeah. Well, and within the equine science program and this Legends of Ranching sale, mm -hmm. I assume because of this guy, you are in the training program? I am, yeah. Okay. How, like, what are your goals with that program, yes. and how do you think that'll help you with your future goals? So I decided to join the Legends of Ranching program because I really wanted to like broaden my perspective of the equine industry because I'm mostly from an English background and I thought this was a good opportunity to work with younger horses and develop like out outside relationships and that's exactly what it has been. I would love to pursue training young horses in the future because it's just it's been so fun and like it's something that I look forward to every day. Um, but yeah, I, I decided that I wanted to go into real estate and hopefully horse properties in the future. Well, I might know somebody <laughs> that can help you in that, so we'll stay connected. But cool. Thank you so much for your time thank and you good so luck much. in the sale tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Buddy, you're not supposed to bite everyone. <laughs> As you stepped into your role here, um, you know the, the Legends of Ranching 
sale has been a big part of the equine program now. I think we're at our 16th year. Correct. And um, so tell me a little bit about as you step in, what you see with this sale and how um, it helps develop students right. and, and also those interactions with um, consigners and ranches. And well, I think the Legends of Ranching program is the, the premier uh, equine science program here at CSU that really engages industry. It's a real world experience um, and it has been for a long time and and so if we can provide students the opportunity to understand the behavior of the horse you know in its rawest form a colt a two-year-old colt and you know a lot of these students uh, have very little equine background you know more and more of our students I don't care what university you're from more and more of them are, are coming from urban and suburban areas so we're giving them that that first shot of experience with a raw colt and, and these students are growing right alongside these colts as they do all of that groundwork in the fall and, um, and really begin to join up. And, and that's an amazing experience. None of them are probably going to wind up being horse trainers, but they're going to have an understanding if they want to go to work for Zoetis or you know, the pharmaceutical industry or a breeding uh, facility or the nutritional world, they're going to understand. Erica. Erica is a teaching assistant here in the equine sciences program within the training program. Erica, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank um, you. If you don't mind, give us your name, where you're from, mm -hmm. um, what, what you're doing here in this equine program, and, yeah. and we'll go from there. Yeah. Uh, my name is Erica Langbaum. I'm a senior here at CSU. This is actually my third year in the Legends of Ranching program. This year is a TA. Uh, this year my role is to kind of be more of a leader. Uh, I'm around to answer all the students' questions, help them with their colts, work with some of the colts that maybe struggle in certain areas. Uh, so it's definitely been a challenge for me having to step up and be a leader. Yeah. But um, it's been a really great experience. I've learned a ton just about horsemanship and working with people, different trainers, different types of riding abilities. So. It's been a really great experience, and I'm really lucky that I've been able to be here for three well, that's years. awesome. It's yeah. great you've been able to gain the leadership experience on top of it all, too. Yeah. Are you an equine major? No, I'm an agricultural business major, okay, actually. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. what, yeah. what are your plans for the future? Right now, I'm not totally sure. I have an extra semester, so I don't graduate till December. Um, I really like marketing and sales, so something like that, working for a Purina, Platinum Performance, Sense Jeans, something like that would be super cool. I like talking to people and working with people, so something along that, those lines would be awesome. Great. How, with that in mind, how mm -hmm. has this program really, yeah. you know, built those skills or even contacts probably, a yeah. network of people mm -hmm. um, to help you in your future? Yeah, this program has helped a ton with that. Just being able to network and meet Mike Jarina from Purina. We talked to uh, one of the head guys from Platinum Performance last week. All these different consigners from all over you get to meet. Uh, we do a tour at the Cinch Factory every year down in Denver. So it's really cool. A lot of people, too, recognize, like you say, I was an alum from the Legends of Ranching program, and people recognize that. So that's been awesome. Just being able to like sell these horses to people, and like somebody asks, what's this horse? And you have to be able to just tell them everything about them. So that's really, really helped me. Just people skills, you know, learning about ranching more contacts all of that so Great. yeah well thank you for taking the time yeah, thank and, you and good luck with the sale and, and yeah. everything in your future too Thanks thank you so very much, much. Yeah. all right I'm with Kira another CSU student um, in the program Kira give us some background like who are you where are you from what's your role within this equine science program so my name is Kira Sayer. I'm a junior here at Colorado State University I'm double majoring in animal and equine science um, I'm originally from Arnsville, Illinois, which is an itty bitty town in West Central Illinois. Um, so I grew up on a cattle ranch, so I didn't have a lot of equine background. Um, bought my first horses when I was 15 and then uh, knew I wanted to go to school for equine science. So my oldest sister, who's a vet now, looked into CSU for her vet degree. And she suggested I look into CSU. So I came out and toured, fell in love with it fell in love with this program. This program is the reason why I came out here. Um, and this was the only school I applied and I was lucky enough to get in. So. Awesome. And you're in the training program, right? There's yes. a marketing program and a yes. training. I you're am, in the training program. Yes, I am in the Legends of Ranching cult class. Perfect. <laughs> um, with that and the skills you've learned, like how do you think that'll help you in your future goals and what are those goals? 
So my future goals are graduate college, um, and then I would like to return home to Illinois to help my dad manage our Hereford cattle operation, and I'd like to train horses on the side. So the skills that I've learned in this class will be very helpful in my future career. Even though I don't want to train full time, I'd still like to take on a handful of colts every year and train them up for ranch horses for other ranch owners to sure. use on their operations. Um, yeah. That's... Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Good luck yeah. in the sale tomorrow. Thank, but thank you. Thank you for taking the time to meet with us. Yeah, of course. Thank you. So I'm with Danica, a CSU student here in the equine sciences program and the training program. Danica, thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Can you give us a little background on who you are, where you're from, and what your major is? So I'm from San Luis Obispo. My major is equine science. I'm a junior here at Colorado State University. Um, my background with this program is just, this is kind of, Legends of Ranching is the reason I came to Colorado State University. And I was assigned this horse who's from Paint Rock Canyon Ranch and um, went kind of through all the basics of groundwork and then saddling and riding. How do you feel like he's doing? She's doing pretty she, well. She um, gets tight, but other than that, she's, she's really willing and super smart. Good. What's, what's your future plan? Like how, what are you hoping to do with your degree and maybe within that? Like, what do you think this program is doing to help you, you know, in that future vision and goal? Um, this program is really good because it gives you kind of perspective of the equine industry. So I can see, like, some of, like, equine professionals, and I'm able to meet a lot of people. But um, regarding my, like, degree and what I plan to do with it, I want to go into nutrition probably and then maybe into some breeding like out, once I graduate, I want to get a breeding internship. I'm not sure where yet, but sure. those are the goals so far. Well, and this program will help you not only with horse skills, but the network, right? Yeah. Network of people, Networking. whether it's Purina or other yep. um, people involved with the program. So. Yep, you learn how to communicate with um, industry professionals, so. Good. Well, thank you for joining us. Good yeah. luck in the sale tomorrow. Thank you. All right, <laughs> so, so that's really important. And then you have where these consigners, uh, these unbelievable, well-known ranches um, that are contributing some of their best genetics uh, to this program so our, our students have the opportunity to work with them. And then, of course, they're so marketable at the end. We'll see tomorrow. You'll see what they look like. And, and that's, they're just an incredible set of colts. Um, the other piece to this program is our sales and marketing and event planning course, uh, and they're getting a full, uh, about three month uh, load of information on what it takes to promote a top notch sale. Uh, put on this event, you know, we'll, we'll entertain 400 people here tomorrow, and there'll probably be another 500 to 1,000 on DV auction watching it. So we're trying to do it as professionally as we can the way the big sale co companies do it. And so they're going to have a taste of what it takes to be successful, you know, in selling horses. Yeah, that's great. With my, my background, I managed a ranch for a while that yeah. happened to shop for horses here. And so I can attest to the quality of, of the horse that comes through the sale ring. And, it, you know, it's exciting because there, you have an opportunity to buy some broke horses coming off these ranches too. But, but to really see the genetics, like you're saying, yeah. that come through and off these programs that we wouldn't necessarily see in Colorado because a lot of them are out of state and um, and for these students to have that opportunity is great. Where do you see, you know, the future headed with both the maybe the equine science program, you know, in a, in a bigger sense as uh -huh. well as maybe the sale itself? Well, you know, the, the industry's changing. Uh, the equine industry in particular uh, has changed dramatically. You know, 15 years ago, there was, everyone had a stallion. Um, everyone bred their mares, betting on, you know, that mating was going to have a home. And I think that's changed a lot in terms of uh, uh, probably a direction toward more, more responsible breeding. Um, so the population has condensed to a point where you really are left with some really elite genetics. Um, and so those elite genetics get more expensive. And so the technical side of our business, whether it's uh, the nutrition, the reproductive physiology, um, the animal health components are becoming much more rigorous, and so we have a science field 
and those are pre-vet type students that have an option to go into the science world. And then you have this group of students that kind of fit in the middle here that are all pretty much geared toward industry, sales, marketing, advertising, promotion, social media, um, you know, really hand-to-hand -hand business. Uh, so we want to give them a business experience. And then there's a new field in equine science, and that really involves the human-animal bond. And what we're learning um, in how the horse can affect uh, recovery or improvement for those who have various issues like children with autism, like adults have had strokes, like PTSD. Sure. Um, just recently, uh, the Senate and the Congress here in the state of Colorado passed a bill that allows Medicaid to actually pay for equine assisted therapies. And so there's a whole new area uh, that we need to, to delve into and that might attract you know, students from all over the world um, that may not have a, an equine background, but they're about to have an appreciation sure. for, for equine sciences and, um, and what it takes to care for these horses. So that's kind of the three areas that I see uh, our, our, our curriculum and our, and our team really driving uh, our successful programs for, for students. Man, that's exciting. I know, you know, as a, these college students evaluate this wide open world, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, and sometimes I think the narrative agriculture in general and even the equine industry, it's like, oh, there's not many jobs out there. You know, it's, it's right. narrowing and right. to some extent in areas maybe, but as you described, but other areas are opening up and so it's, it's Great to see well, that CSU's preparing for that. That's right. You know, used to you came to equine sciences to be a veterinarian or horse trainer. Yeah. And it, it, the, the opportunity is much more vast than that. And so you're absolutely right. And what we, we tend to tell people today is, you know, the horse is the gateway to agriculture because everybody loves mm -hmm. horses, right? So it gives, it gives you an opportunity to get across the table from someone who may not understand or appreciate production agriculture but they can sure appreciate that horse, and that's a starting point. And I think that's really gonna be uh, our driver as we see more urban and suburban kids come into agriculture. Sure, well, it's, mm. it's exciting. And I can also say one, one of the benefits to this program, because I've already spoken with a few of the students. Um, I even hired some in the past and had interns. Yeah. I think one of the other benefits is, um, and I saw this quote within the, the program too, um, it's not just about the horses and, the, and training and, and bringing students through that but you're making well-rounded people like yeah. they're learning some skills they I'm, when you work with a horse you learn a lot about yourself I can yeah. attest yeah, to that and right. I know these students are too so uh, this program does a great job of making them into well-rounded adults as they're you know gonna graduate and embark on the world so it's an exciting program I thank you for you know taking the time to meet with us and uh, good luck on the sale tomorrow hey, thank you appreciate you coming by and, and uh, spending time with us Great. thanks so much appreciate uh -huh. it. you bet